This is what I yeah. want to understand. With the designation with the All-NBA team, we still have a center, two forwards, and two guards. But I look at these right. centers. They're not among the top 15 players in the NBA. But there's things attached to this with Gordon Hayward and Paul George who are better than DeAndre Jordan or uh, Rudy Gobert. They, they don't make the All-NBA team. Why do we have a center designation when we've almost prided ourselves in the fact that nobody really has positions anymore? It's, it's a very fair question, and because, as you know, we eliminated the center designation for all-star balloting, and so there is an inconsistency with all-NBA. And the reason we left it for all-NBA, it was more a function of contracts that have already been negotiated where there are bonuses mm. and, and incentives set for winning awards based on being a, a, the center and the desig, and an all NBA not all NBA consideration that comes from being a center. I think it's one of the things we should consider changing if we were going to do it though. I think just as a function of contracts that that were already entered into, we have to announce it and then change it two or three seasons later. But it, but you're right and it's not and and it's a little different with the All-Star cuz it's an exhibition game, so there weren't all the same incentives tied to specific positions for All-Star, but you know, I, I don't have a better reason than that. It was just it was just it was based entirely on the fact that contracts had been written and there were incentives based on being a, this, the designation that came from being center. The Dan Patrick Show weekday mornings on audience.